Hey there family, thank you for clicking on today's video where I'll attempt to answer the question of whether love is a feeling or choice. If you're new to my channel, my name is Peter Gordon and I'm a graduate student working towards what I hope will be an eventual doctorate in clinical psychology. I also happen to be a life and a health and wellness coach and I make videos on mental health, philosophy, fitness, wellness and everything I hope can help you to lead your most profound life. And while you're here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as notification bell so that you're notified each week when I post a brand new video. Also feel free to share this video, like it, comment on it and all that good stuff. Now let's get into the heart of today's topic. So today I'm going to be talking or attempting to answer the question, the age-old question that is of is love a feeling or is it a choice? Now before I get into this, let me first put out this little disclaimer. The opinion or opinions I'm about to share belong to me and are based purely on my experience and shouldn't be really taken as gospel. Now if you agree with my viewpoint, good to go, but if you don't, still good to go. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. So we've seen this story play out a million times. We've seen it in our personal lives and in society in general. You know, two people meet either by happenstance through a dating app or by friends hooking them up. And there is this undeniable chemistry and a spark between them, right? The spark is so intense, really we should describe it as like a roaring fire. Now, some people describe the spark as butterflies in their stomach. And you know, and right then and there, they knew this person was the one, you know, that one person they've been searching their whole life for. And then just like that, a relationship is formed. Now it may lead to marriage or just a committed relationship. You know, so things then from there go well for some years and then just like that, something switches. And a relationship that appeared unbreakable seemingly just fizzles out overnight. And this leaves you the question of how does one go from being the apple of someone's eyes to persona non grata, you know, the bane of their existence in what can feel like the blink of an eye. Now this scenario has played out in my personal life and that of many friends. And so it brings up the question of is love really a feeling or is it a choice? Well the answer to that question is dare I say complicated. Now what do I mean by complicated? Well, I believe that love is a feeling or better yet starts out as a feeling. We all have a start, we all start off with a baseline things that we're physically attracted to. It could be a man with a beard and broad shoulders or a woman with full lips and flawless skin. Then from there we become enthralled with their intangibles such as their perceived intelligence, their caring attitude, work ethic and so on. That feeling then can become so intense that in some ways it clouds your judgment because there are things and there are things about any individual that doesn't quite vibe with you. Everyone has something that doesn't, that doesn't feel good to us. But you can look past it because that feeling, that spark that you have is undeniable. And that feeling creates the phase we like to call the honeymoon phase in a relationship. Now the honeymoon phase can last, say, for a very short time or in some cases for years. Now here's my little two cents. That honeymoon phase, though real and is real and it's a legitimate feeling, is not entirely love. I'll say it again. The honeymoon phase, however long it lasts for, is not entirely love. Great sex is not entirely love. Being a good provider is not entirely love. So that now brings me back to the initial question. And my answer to that is that a small part, let's say 20% of love is a feeling, but the majority of love or loving someone comes down to a choice. And it is a choice that must be made daily. You see, no one is perfect. And at some point their flaws, whether big or small, are going to aggravate the living daylights out of you. And it's going to leave you with a simple choice of should I stay or should I go? Look, Relationships take work. Yes, to total cliche statement, you've probably heard it a thousand times, but they really do take work. And the work is a choice that both parties have to be willing to do day in, day out. That work requires a certain level of vulnerability, self-awareness, and self-awareness. But it also requires a willingness to accept that you're not always going to get it right. And there'll be obstacles, but you accept that the obstacles are the way because at the end of the day, it's all about a journey. Now I've failed in relationships and even in my marriage, not because the feeling of love disappeared. Really I failed because I neglected to make the choice to love each day. So yes family, I believe that a majority of love is a choice and not a feeling. So until next time family, stay well. But hey, before you go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, which is my face right there. Or if you wanna check out some of my other videos, click any one of these two boxes right here. As always family, stay well.